guys, James getting a haircut from Mr. Samuel. Look up, James. Let's see how your head looks. Looking good, looking good. If you can keep this stand like this, boy, you're gonna get your wife real quick. You want a wife, don't you? Huh. Wife and children, that's what we need you to get. Wife, kids, and you in your own place out there behind the back, behind back, about next to the house back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess what you want? <laughs> Yeah. Looking good. I like it, John. Stay with it. Appreciate it. You did great. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll talk. Not yet, but we're soon. We are. Doug in the haircut? No, I don't think so. He got his dreads in. You did his face already? Once you finish, I want to see the end. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. He's finished with his haircut, but he don't want to do nothing to that beard, but I guess it, it'll work. Turn around. Okay. Let me see the front. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, then. So he said he like it, guys. I like it, too. All right, bye. We're going to start on Mr. Rick now. He's getting his haircut, guys. You want a haircut, too, enemy? <laughs> Man, they use the security house e for everything. I don't think that's what we designed. Uh -uh. For. I guess when we get out here, it'll, it'll change. Because when I get out here, all this mess got to go. I don't mm -hmm. want to try. Hey, yeah. I mean, I ain't going to be living in here, but still, if I come up in here and this door is open, I'll be mad. Because the security guy should be right there. There you go. And he watching that gate. That's it. And this door gonna be closed. They're gonna clean up all this mess. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we move back in that house, that's what they're gonna do. There you go. Clean it up. And I ain't having to where you leave the door wide open. Nope. And everything is in the hall. It just ain't gonna work that way. It'll be three eight man, uh, three, hmm. three eight, uh, three eight hour shifts. Yes, guys. One person here, one person at the gate, and one person roving. Yeah, we had a we had the internet guys come in today, and. We was informed that something is going on with NetPage. Everybody who has NetPage is having problems with YouTube. It's not uh, coming on. Ain't that something? That's sad. And you know most of us have, have NetPage. And well, at least I got my router with QC. Maybe I need to switch to QC. Mm hmm They're probably going to change it then. Ain't that something? I just know when we first got here, Q, uh, internet page was really fast. It was like... 15 minutes you had a video pop 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 every 15 minutes now i guess so many people are, have come into the country that it's uh it's just they don't know how to handle it i guess i don't know but they're saying just the youtube that's the only thing that's still going bad at the house with the uh service it's just you, youtube just youtube they don't know he said he don't know what's going on but they're trying to fix it now but we shall see that's probably why when we ever, it's been going up for what, three days, one, one video, three days, then once it gets where it's like, okay, I'm finished playing with you, it's an error. You got to redo this. After three days, it is what it is, guys. We all know what it is. I do for once. But you know what? It does not put no brakes on me. It keeps me moving. I just move, wiggle somewhere else on this side and go this route wrong person to play that game with. Simp don't give up that easy. But anyway, Mr. Rick, how you like your hair? You getting a haircut now? I ain't even think about it. I'm thinking about that outrageous price to do that gate fence over there. I ain't even thinking about that because uh, I'm like, <laughs> that gate was just 50. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he crazy. But anyway, no. I ain't hey, moving no the bars too there. because I'm like, bars shouldn't be that much. Not no four thousand. Samuel, slow down, baby. Slow down. <laughs> That's what Jay said. Shut hey up. man, stop. Samuel rushing. I think your hand, that hand heavy. Samuel rushing. You ready to go? <laughs> I want to. I want to go with you. Uh, we know. I leave yeah, my hand. If you leave for, if you leave for, I leave for. So I don't okay, want to. Okay, like he I'm said no he I think it's like me. My heavy nah. hand. Huh? Yeah. That heavy hand. I mean, man, he like. <laughs> Cutting cassava leaves and stuff, you know? Cassava the, leaves. No, you know that ain't no cassava leaves I'm up there. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all let y'all go. We so never leave this heaven. No, I'm gonna walk off so you can uh, so he won't cut you no more. Maybe it's me. I'll All be right. back. Anyways, this is Mr. Ricky. Out. I mean the <laughs> finish. Whatever you wanna call it, huh? Something about the right to stay. All right, family, I love it when a plan comes together. Not 100%, but a fair amount. Now, the original goal is to have 10 45 meter by five, excuse me, <clears throat> 10 45 meter by 45 meter plots. Here's one. Here's two, here's three. He's working on four over there and parked out in the gang, just laid out the stakes for number five. So I'm almost halfway there of having the 10 45 meter by 45 meter plots, which translate into five acres. Now, this right here is supposed to be basically one crop. If it's tomatoes or ketting ketting or potatoes or whatever the case may be, that's fine and dandy. But for some reason, uh, we ain't quite getting it to what I envisioned yet, but we will get there because I'm gonna keep pushing and pushing to get that ideal crop. And I have no problems with running uh, cover crops, you know, or additional crops. Uh, on the permanent raised beds. This right here was supposed to be 45 meters by 45 meters of watermelons. Sweet melons, watermelons, cantaloupe. That ain't that ain't turning out the way I planned because the guy screwed up on the borehole. So as a sec what's up, babe? Rick? What? Rick? Almost. So the guy screwed up on that borehole right there. Now see how that messes up my plan? Now if it was Omar doing it, we'd have been still pushing forward, but his son came in and that's a whole nother story. So anyway, over here is where I got my, uh, <laughs> my uh, cassava. So I asked my man if it's all was stuck back in the ground and he just gave me, you know, a little random answer, yeah. So as he saw I was coming over here to check, what is he doing? Sticking it in there, making sure, okay? All right. So anyway, this right here is the next 45 meter by 45 meters right back here. I want to take full advantage of the area that I pre-selected to cover our ground crops. Huh. And as we get farther and farther back there, toward the 4,000 square foot house, that's when we'll throw up our rice patties and stuff. Because people keep saying, grow, throw rice, grow rice, grow rice. We will grow rice, but in the area that we selected. And we will start utilizing this water hole here too. Or well water. Gotta pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it and stuff. So anyway, I think my man is almost finished over here. Let's go back here and take a look at what it looks like. And we're gonna relocate those um, alabara because they don't look so hot, as well as the pineapples. They don't look so hot either. Maybe in a little shaded area like this right here. Might even move the, uh, what do you call it? The cactus stuff. Anyway, this is what the beds are looking like. Now, eventually, again, the plan is to get into drip irrigation. So as you can see, my man didn't put real kind of effort into it. Now it's understandable, you know, you by yourself, but again, if somebody's paying you to do something, hey, give them the best, give them the best product. So I had to ask him, hey, you know, tighten up on it a little bit, and he did. But as you can see, it sort of like snakes like up there in the first few miles. But on the on the backwards, he straightened it up a little bit. So anyway, that's where this is gonna go. And then over here. Is where we want to put our 10 meters by 20 meters by 5 meters high greenhouse greenhouse 
so the ladies don't have too far to walk from the garden and it's still consistent with hey, uh, getting the job done out of Black Exit again. Now, we go ahead and uh, outstanding ladies. Five of the hardest working ladies here in the game. And I'm glad they're on the bag team. So let me go on here. I see my man right there holding that water. He's going to stand there and hold that water and look at that water for 20 minutes. I don't, I don't, I guess I got to get my language on because I've communicated over and over and over. You don't have to look at every drop of water going into that bucket. Do something else, then come back. But it is what it is. So let me go ahead and link up with Sweet Juice and Mama. We're going to close out another weekend. Need to get me some more manure over here. I'm running out, but when that pickup truck went down, that put a wrinkle in the game plan like always. So we'll fix it in the near future. So let me get on out of here, guys. Um, give you another glance. I always like to give you guys a quick glance on what's going on out here. So you can compare it to the naysayers or the haters who never show you what kind of project they're doing. You know, they always want to hate on us. But when somebody says, okay, show me what you're doing, notice they never answer or they never show you that. They'll sidestep it and say, oh, you drinking the Kool-Aid or you in love with bag or such and such, but they never show you what they're doing. I wonder why, guys. I wonder why. So anyway, we threw some more avocados in the ground. And so chicken house would be definitely up by this weekend with chickens in it by next week and then we'll start the start the process all right guys let me get my water here we're gonna get out of here you ready brother yeah. let's go yeah. all right all right now hey watch out for the cows can you get the cows if they come in I'll give you a big juicy bone, T-bone steak. Oh, that's, that's how you're gonna react when I say I'll give you a T-bone steak? Keep the cows off the land, I'll give you a nice juicy T-bone steak, okay? All right, let's get on out of here. All right, family, to the next video, bye. Just don't put him close, he's dropping. <laughs> oh my lord, have mercy. No. I'm sorry. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't put him this close. Oh god. That's a big old rat. Okay, thank you. Good lord. Don't let him get the dog now. <laughs> You took a picture too? Yeah, I, yeah. I, that's why I came here late. I'm sorry. That's why I came here late because I was taking pictures of him. He, he told me his name and he was like, how much you can sell him? You eat him? No. Oh, I know the people here they do they say it's for diabetics. The diabetics eat him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I came here late. Oh my god, that's a big picture. Getting it so